So we're in uh, central Arkansas right now. This is a campground. Uh, it's actually a Christian camp for kids. So this is Sheba. She's a privately owned Indonesian tiger. And she's been living here at this campground for her whole life, about nine years. Her private owner put her in here when she thought she was getting too big to handle it on his own. So this enclosure is definitely too small for a tiger. And the other big issue right away is, is that it's all cement. She doesn't have any natural ground to walk on, which is definitely a problem for her feet and for her arthritis. You can see that she's pretty tender as she walks around on her paws and we believe that's probably a combination of being declawed and living on cement her whole life that she's just developed some chronic arthritis. The idea was that they would get her a larger enclosure at some point, but that just never seemed to be the case. And so the new camp director and camp ranger, when they came in, uh, they really didn't feel that this was the best situation for Sheba, and that's when they reached out and the request came to IFA to find Sheba a suitable home. She'll get a better enclosure, the proper care that she needs as a tiger. So we're here to move her to her new home. And we are getting ready to prepare Sheba for her immobilization and have the vets come and we'll immobilize Sheba for her quick vet check and then get her loaded up. And then move to Sanctuary in Texas. estimate that there's up potentially 10,000 big cats in private hands. There are more tigers in captivity in Texas than there are in the entire wild population. So we see a lot of cases of like this around the country. I know this is not a unique situation. We do this uh, fairly often and we just really couldn't uh, make these rescues possible if it weren't for uh, the support of our donors. So we really are appreciative of uh, all that they do to enable us to do this kind of work.